everyone welcome back to another video <laughs> in today's video i'm going to be redoing animal print because i tried to do it in monday's live i was trying to think which day it was monday's live and i went completely it went so wrong that it was just it was the most awful live ever i think in the history of lives that was a bit of a fail so i am gonna use odin this is one of the metallic gel polishes from nelkami it's part of the gods collection I really 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 like this color um i think because it's a nice golden color it's going to look really nice as the base color for all the nails this is going to go on all three of the nails i'm going to put that in the lamp um i am going to apply two coats but into that second coat i'm going to put some of the glitter here from nail sugar this is called lucky penny and i want those bigger isn't that pretty oh it's so nice some of the bigger chunks i want the bigger chunks so if you don't want to put the glitter into an uncured coat of gel polish you can put your second coat of gel polish on cure it in the lamp and then go over with some base coat but don't cure the base coat just yet because i'm taking my crystal picker and I'm picking up some of the bigger chunks and I'm going to place those into that uncured gel polish. Don't move it all around because you don't want the gel polish to slide over the top of the glitter. So you, you might be safe to do this on base coat, but I thought I would save the base coat and just put it onto... Oh, oh my gosh, the yawns are coming. It's because it's Friday. Anyway, I'm going to do this all the way down the nail. Sorry about that yawn, that was very rude. Actually, it wasn't. Or is it rude? Is it rude when you yawn? Some people think it's rude. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry if it was rude. Um, there we go. Look. All the way down the nail. Cure that in the lamp. That's going to keep those little bits of glitter all in place. Then I'm going to take Crystal Clear Builder Gel from Nelkami, obviously. And we're going to go over with a thin coat of this just to cover all the glitter and keep it in place. There we go. I'm going to put that in the lamp. I think it cures for 30 seconds. I can't remember. I'm just going to hold it upside down to let it settle a bit. And then I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer. I don't know if I needed to do this, actually. But I'm going to do it anyway. And then over the top of that, we're going to use the non-wipe top coat. This is just, just going to seal everything in. And make it all shiny. Like it does. It's top cotton cam. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to use the Artisan Gel Paint in brown. And this is what we're going to use to create the animal designs with. Now with this first one, um, I'm going to... Um, I actually had to Google what they look like because I don't... Uh, you know, I, my life was terrible. So I'm just putting some wobbly, wibbly, wobbly lines around it. The first one was way too thick um needs to be a bit thinner but i'm trying to keep them all consistent i'm doing wibbly lines and then i'm kind of like not completely covering them and then finishing off with another half line no like i don't know i'm so rubbish anyway once i've done a few i'm going to sprinkle on some acrylic powder this is the um crystal genesis powder acrylic from nelkami ofs um and I'm just going to make sure I've got them fully covered. And then I will pop them in the lamp to cure for just over 60 seconds. The Artisan Gel Paints cure for 60 seconds. So I put them in for just over. And then we're left with this matte finish on top of the um, shiny metallic, which I really like. So I'm going to just carry on doing some more. So it's kind of like I do one, one half and then finish it off with the other half. I'm sitting outside outside the post office and the post office shuts between one and two and the car park is full up so I'm going to try and get this done and get to the door before everyone else does <laughs> otherwise I'll be forever so I've done a few more I've sprinkled them sprinkling them with acrylic popping it in the lamp wiping it off so you can see that you can see a bit better now but I'm going to finish the nail I'm going to do this all the way down can you see it's looking better now isn't it so I'm going to just wipe off the last bit there we go and that is that nail done so that's a leopard or a cheetah or whatever you want to call it and the next nail i'm going to go ahead and apply two coats of the odin gel polish do i show you me doing i think i might show i don't know i can't remember but this is the first coat 
I don't think I show you the second coat, but I do do two coats. Then I apply the non-wipe top coat again. And then this will cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So pretty. And then we're gonna do some tiger stripes. So the stripes are very similar. Well, I'm doing them very similar to like a zebra stripe. So some of the, like this top part here, I'm gonna connect up and do a little stripe coming down the center. And then some of them are gonna be, I make them thicker at one end and they thin out. Some of them don't, some of them say like this one, do I do this one a bit thicker? I can't remember. Um, hang on a sec. Okay, now this one's thinning out. Then the next one I do, like I keep it the same thickness all the way across the nail. And then we're just gonna repeat this design all the way down the nail really and you can mix it up a bit you know I don't know what I'm on about just you know faff around a bit play around a bit as long as it looks like stripes and they're all kind of going roughly in the same direction then you're on a win-win so I'm gonna just let you watch this bit There we go. I'm going to just put this last little bit on, I think, am I? Yeah, I want to put a little bit through there. Then I'm going to, no, I'm not going to cure this yet. I'm going to go over again with the crystal acrylic, the clear acrylic. Then, because I, I really like, I just, I just love that matte look over the, over the, um, the metallic base. And it's easier to do it this way than it is to, like, go over all the individual stripes with the matte top coat. And this way as well, you get um, it gives you like an embossed look, and I think that looks. I I think I really like it. Anyway, I'm just going to make sure that I cover all the stripes and everything properly. Otherwise, we'll be left with some shiny bits and some matte bits. I'm a little bit fussy here, but I want to do it right. And then again, I'll cure that in the lamp for about seventy seconds. There we go. Oh, it looks so nice already. Then when it comes out, brush off the excess acrylic. There we go. Oh, I love this nail so much. This is my, oh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm undecided whether I like this one or the next nail best. But the next one, so again, we're going in with two coats of Odin. This is just the perfect base for these, these nails, I think. Might have said that, don't know. <laughs> over with our top coat because we want him nice and shiny and then we're going to do a giraffe so the giraffe pictures that or print that I found had they weren't they were like blotches like imagine a circle but a very misshaped circle and they all kind of connected a little bit but they didn't so you've got like a gap between them if in doubt just google giraffe print and you'll find <laughs> an image but it's pretty it's not that different you don't you don't make the lines too you don't want any right angles or anything you want the you want them to be curved and if they are like that corner there is is looks a little bit pointy but it is kind of curved and you're just gonna um, just sort of finish this pat, like complete the pattern all the way down the nail. I'm just gonna put a little bit up there. Can you see, so it kind of connects, but we've got like, we're getting a gap between each patch of color. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off. I'm gonna go all the way down the nail now. Okay, and that's that done. You see, see what I've done there? And then once again, we are gonna go over with our crystal clear acrylic. I think this, let me know in the comments which is your favorite one. I'm undecided between this one and the stripe nail. There we go. So I wanna make sure I get all the, all this, all the gel paint, tap it off, cure it in the lamp, 
brush off the excess acrylic. Look how cool that one is. I really like that. I've got some dark brown flocking powder as well. I wonder what that would look like. Anyway, if you did like this video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I'm going to show you these quickly in close up. Well, this is quite close, but you know, I don't know what I should call this end bit. But there we go. That is the patterns. I like them a lot. I'm going to leave the link to Nelchemy in the description box below and the US distributor for Nelchemy in the description box below and the link to Nail Sugar, obviously. And if you want to get 10% off, you can use my code network10. Love you lots. And I will see you on Monday. <laughs> Bye.